What's up YouTube, Regitech here, and today we're going to be installing and doing a little review, I guess, on this RabbitGo window film. Now this window film, I did choose the bamboo flower option because it looks nice, but they have so many different options available from this company and different styles as well as lengths and widths. No matter what option you choose, these films all offer a really great thing which is window privacy. So you still get to allow a lot of light into your house with still retaining the privacy that you need. These films are made of really high quality materials that enhance the durability of your windows, the efficiency, and are overall cost efficient. With these films you do block 96% of the UV rays that are known to cause damage to your furniture and skin, which is a great thing, so that means that you won't have that harmful set of rays coming into your house and damaging you or your furniture that you paid money for. So before we get started with this installation, let's take a look at all of the tools and things you'll need to do this installation. Let's take a look at the design I chose and as well as the box that it comes in. So opening it out like this, we can pull out the window film. And as you guys can see, it looks like a bamboo flower plant. So we're going to put this aside for just a second and we're going to take a look at the box. There's nothing really special on the outside of the box. It says that the instructions are inside of the package and then it gives you a little line to cut to open up the box so that you can see the instructions that come inside. So let's go ahead and open this up and take a look inside. So when you have the box cut open, you can see all the instructions that come inside. And it says to trim the film to the required size, clean the glass, wet the glass with soapy water, peel off the backing of the film, set up film on the glass, squeegee away any water and air bubbles, and cut off the margins. And that's pretty much all the instructions that you need for this installation. And up here it gives you a couple of images that show you the installation process. Basically cutting the film to the required size, cleaning the glass, spraying the soapy water on there, peeling the back of the film off, laying the film onto the glass, and squeegeeing it away, and cutting away any excess film that is layering onto the borders of the window. So that's it for the instructions. Now, everything that you'll need to carry out this installation is basically here. So you'll obviously need some scissors, you'll need a microfiber cloth so you can properly clean your windows, you'll need a squeegee, I chose this squeegee just because it was a nice looking squeegee and it pretty much does the job very well. You're going to need a spray bottle and inside that spray bottle you're going to need some soapy water solution. So just put any type of soap you have and just mix it with water. Then you're going to need any type of measuring tape to measure the windows. Some Windex to definitely clean the windows. You're going to need a ruler, inches or centimeters, whichever you prefer, just to measure out the film so that you can get it ready to cut a pen to mark the line on the back of the film so that you have the line to cut on, and a utility knife or X-Acto knife to either cut the film or to cut off the edges when it's on the window. And most important, so that you don't get your furniture damaged while doing this installation, you'd probably want to get a nice piece of cardboard so that you can cut the film on top of the cardboard. So you guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and start this installation and see how the process goes. So step one is to go ahead and clean your windows really nicely with a nice cleaning solution. I use Windex and also some paper towels. Step two, you're going to want to go ahead and grab a microfiber cloth just to wipe the surface clean and so that it has no streaks or smudges. And now for the third step, you're going to want to measure your windows lengthwise and widthwise. Make sure you measure your windows on the inside border trim just so that you get only the glasses measurement. And once you're done with that, we can go ahead and start the measuring and cutting process for the film. So since I've already cleaned my windows and I have made it streak free and measured it, I'm going to go ahead and start with the measuring of the film and start to cut it. And you want to layer your workstation with a piece of cardboard or something just so that you don't end up scratching it up or cutting it because I'm going to be using an X-Acto knife to make the cuts nice and precise instead of using the scissors. So let's get started with that. And now that we have the two pieces cut out, just because I had to match the width of my window, 
So I had to cut an extra portion out just to cover the whole entire window. So now we can go ahead and start the installation on the window itself. So I'm going to leave you guys right here. So what you're going to want to do is spray a nice amount of some soapy water solution onto the window itself. Doesn't matter how much you get on there, this is a pretty big window, so I'm going to put a nice amount. And basically this adhesive sticks by static, so that's the way it's going to be uh, stuck on there. And I'm going to start by putting the bigger portion up at the top. So you're going to want to remove the protective film from the actual window cover. And once you do that, you're just going to want to line it up with the portion of the window or with your window itself. And once you have it laid on your window just like this, at this point you can go ahead and take your squeegee and just squeegee out the excess soapy water that we have under there. Alright, and now that we have the top portion installed, let's go ahead and install that little slice that we had from for the bottom. And I cut this so that it will line up with the top portion. So just, if you do this, then just make sure that both pieces line up so it looks nice. And then, as you can see, I have a little piece of extra film that's hanging off the bottom here. So all we need to do is just give that a trim. And once you're finished, you can go and grab a paper towel and just soak up the extra solution that's on there. And if you still see some air bubbles, what I like to do is put the paper towel over the squeegee um, point like this and just give it a nice press and pull. And in doing this, you won't damage the film itself. And that's about it for this window. And once the soapy water solution that we made dries off on the back, this window film will not move from where it is. It won't be sliding around or even moving just a little bit. And that just takes a little bit of drying time. So I'll see you guys in a little while. And in the meantime, you're gonna go ahead and install this on another window and we'll see how the results are. All right, you guys, so we've let these films dry on this window that we did do the installation on. I also did install this film on another window that we're, that we're going to go ahead and take a look at. Now, this window, as you can see, I don't have much sunlight coming in there because it is right next to another house. But you can take a look at how much more privacy this allows you to have on any window that you do have in your house. Now, taking a look at it because I did leave the top one unfiltered because I wanted to show you guys just how much more of a difference it creates. So you can see that the top one, you can see so much right through the window. But with the bottom one, you can't see anything that's on the other side. And because you can't see anything on the other side, that means no one can see what's inside. And that's one great thing about these window films. Another great thing is that these window films are very energy efficient because they do bounce off 96% of those UV rays that can be harmful to your furniture, but also do create an extra set of heat coming in through your windows. Now, what I love about these window films is how nicely they settle onto the window. Once they're on the window, you can't even move them or budge them and they don't peel off. The only way to peel them off is basically to get them from the edges and pull them straight off. They won't smudge, they won't shift or anything like that once they've properly dried onto the windows, which doesn't take too long. It takes about 30 minutes for them to properly dry as long as you've squeegeed out all the solution that's underneath it. One thing that you guys will notice is that on the extra piece that I had to layer because it wasn't wide enough to fit this exact window is that this piece that I did cut and layer on there, I didn't cut it the exact way I figured I would have where I wanted to match up all these bamboo plants so that everything creates one nice flow and it doesn't look like there's an extra piece there that was a separate cut. But as you guys can see, I didn't do that well, but with a little bit of time and taking a little bit more effort with matching everything up, it would be possible. Now looking at how I did the cut here as well for this extra piece, it is a little bit wavy. I didn't do a perfectly straight cut and that's something that I should have taken a little bit more time and done because it would have created a nicer installation. Although standing away from the window itself, you can't even really notice that there's an extra piece put on there. 
And here is the other window I installed this window film on. And as you guys can see, because there's so much sunlight coming in through this window, it looks so much more beautiful. You can see that wherever the flowers on the bamboo plants are, you can see that really nice rainbow effect and it looks beautiful. That's just the sun rays bouncing through the 3D print that's on these films and it looks gorgeous. What I love about these window films is in the sunlight they look spectacular but it doesn't in any way hinder the ability of the privacy that they do offer. As you guys can see I, I also did do one installation just on the bottom of this window and left the top one clear and you can really see the difference that these films create. And with that difference, you really do get that added bit of privacy and it also saves you on your energy costs. All right, you guys, and I just wanted to show you a quick look at how these films look in the nighttime. Now, uh, floodlight did just go on in the backyard over there, but as you can see through the window film part, the part of the window that is covered with the window film, you can't see that much light coming out from it. And also, if you take a look through the top window, you'll see a hell of a lot of light coming from it. And also, you can see straight to the other person's uh, window, right through it, actually. And when you look through the film portion that I have on this window here, you can't see anything through it. And as that floodlight goes and shuts off there, you can see just how much more privacy you get by having these window films applied to your windows. All right, you guys, and that just about concludes this video on how to install these awesome window film by RabbitGo. Uh, if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more videos just like this one, go ahead and consider subscribing to my channel. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I hope this did help out with any ideas you guys may be having or with just the installation process. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.